This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So, as we said, uh, this little exercise, all it's going to go through and do is get you to take a company. So, here I've chosen for you a car manufacturing company. Uh, that can be Ford, it can be Jaguar, if you want to go through and pump it up even further, uh, Ferrari or Lamborghini. Okay. And when we're looking at that car manufacturing company, you are in charge of that car manufacturing company. Uh, and you're starting to think about the financial and non-financial objectives that you need to go through there and set for your business. So what you need to go through and do is you need to identify the stakeholders within the business. And then once you've got your stakeholders, you need to think about the objectives or what they want from that business. OK, so what I would suggest is that you go through pause the video in a moment, uh, list out some stakeholders and then have a thought about what objectives they want. When you're thinking about the stakeholders, try and be particular. Don't just copy down the list that we've got from the notes. Try and be specific about the customers, about the suppliers, the type of customers, the type of suppliers, the type of employees so that you can you know, add a little bit of value if you're thinking about going forward ultimately and doing the strategy level case study where it's a little bit more written as opposed to your objective test questions that we're aiming towards here okay uh, but pause the video now and i'll see you in a moment so how did you get on with that then okay was that a little bit of fun no uh, you didn't bother doing it shame on you if i give you the opportunity to try and do a little bit of work as we go through the exercise and to keep you involved uh, please take advantage of it uh, it will keep you occupied as opposed to just entertained as well, as opposed to just going through there and just listening to me non-stop forever and ever. OK, so what have we got? Uh, well, let's go through there and have a look at the stakeholders. So you've got their employees, you know, nice and straightforward there. I threw in the government. Uh, I went through and just tried to be a little bit different then. OK, I just thought, well, what about your, your safety bodies, your, your regulatory bodies? OK, if you're manufacturing a car, you need to make sure that it's safe. OK, uh, local suppliers I touched upon uh, instead of saying customers, I thought about your car dealerships. OK, because that's who you sell your cars to if you're a manufacturer and then the dealer sells it on. So what have we got? OK, uh, if you're an employee, very simple. OK, just keeping it basic to start off with. We want a bit of job security, don't we? OK, uh, but you also want opportunities. Uh, you want opportunities to progress and enhance your career, don't we? OK. Uh, and as part of that, you'd like some salary increases. OK, so when you're setting the objectives of a business, you need to bear that in mind. OK, very difficult in the current economic climate, isn't it? In the financial climate that, that we're experiencing in these modern times. Uh, we want to be able to give our employees salary increases, don't we? But if we give our employees salary increases, then that reduces the company's profitability. And, you know, if we reduce profitability, then there's less dividends for the shareholders. You know, that businesses are struggling for cash as it is okay so given the employees that salary increase in the first place it is going to be difficult isn't it without then upsetting the shareholders so it's something that you really need to, to finally balance as a financial manager in terms of the government and a car manufacturing company uh, there would be concerned with job creation again a bit of an issue i'd suppose there with regards to a car manufacturing company isn't it because in my time, you know, cars have been manufactured you know, purely by hand on production lines. And now it's totally changed. It's all automated, isn't it? So there's a lot less job or human intensive jobs that are being performed uh, in terms of manufacturing cars. So that, that would be something you'd need to, to, to consider. Yeah, great. Automate the production line. But, you know, what do you then do in terms of your, your, your jobs, your, your employees. So again, something to consider there. Tax revenues, and then one I threw in there based upon the, the relatively recent Volkswagen scandal and, and, and other car manufacturers that have been involved in emission scandals. It is thinking about the emissions. The government, are, you know, depending on which country you're in, you know, a, a lot of countries now are concerned with reducing carbon emissions, aren't they, to, to meet targets. And if the number of cars are increasing, well, that's not going to help you reduce your target in terms of carbon emissions, isn't it? So we want to make sure that the, the cars that are being developed are, are, are more environmentally friendly, aren't they? OK, so thinking there about some recent relative examples. Uh, safety bodies, they want to ensure that you've got compliance with the safety standards. OK, uh, so you might need to set some objectives in terms of 
you know, how well we meet those safety standards uh, and if they are breached. Uh, then we've got our local suppliers. Uh, local suppliers want an increase in orders. Uh, local suppliers might want some more innovation, mightn't they? Because as we innovate, we need new products, uh, which requires new technology, uh, which local suppliers might be prepared to invest within and might generate them more cash and more wealth for their shareholders. So, you know, although the customers are in uh, interested in innovation, like we mentioned with Apple before, your local suppliers would also be interested in the innovation as well, okay? Because it advances them along and it then stops them being left behind. Uh, and then in terms of your car dealerships, uh, you want to see that there's new models being produced on, on a regular basis, because if there's new models, that will bring in newer customers, won't it? Or your older customers might want to then buy that newer model. And again, car dealerships will, will be interested in technology, won't they? OK, if you look at cars these days and, and the technology that's available, we're, we're moving closer and closer, aren't we? Uh, to, to automated cars that, that will drive themselves. Okay, there's a lot of companies in America. Uh, I think Google uh, are very much involved in, in the self-driving or driverless cars. Okay, uh, so your car dealerships will be really interested in, in that technology and how it goes forward. Okay, so that's just looking at an example for a car manufacturing company. Feel free to use any business that you want. I don't know an, an airline business. You could think there about your customers being the, the, the holiday makers, okay, uh, your, your your businessmen or women who go through there and fly on the planes, that you suppliers, uh, that the suppliers of the engines uh, and how, the Rolls Royce that may be, uh, and how that needs to be thought about in terms of setting your financial and your non-financial objectives. We haven't yet touched upon the financial and the non-financial objectives just yet, because before we get there, we want to be able to think about your stakeholders and what the objectives of those stakeholders are, okay? And we've looked at a little bit there, haven't we, okay? What we're gonna go through and look at next is we're just gonna to start to touch upon the different types of entity that we could go through and look at within any exam question.